Okay, so some, some details. This uh, document you can get from the calculus homework page. Uh, <coughs> just to go over it, hopefully really briefly, I think it'll be brief. So I've decided that there needs to be sp some definite specific problem types, otherwise you guys will be making up really simple derivatives to take or something like that. So you gotta do a related race problem, uh, there's an example here of the kind of problem I wanted to include a diagram, okay? Um, it's not that difficult. Um, once you start to play around with it, you're gonna see how you know the answer that you wanna get. You can see how you could tweak the numbers, like the dimensions in your diagram, to get that answer to come out the way you want it to, okay? Um, the volume of solid, rotated or otherwise, you know, square cross-section if you want to do that. Um, pretty straightforward. Differential equation, got an example of a differential equation. Real straightforward, doesn't have to be very involved. Um, Good morning, Florence Carlton High School. Today is Friday, May 16th, 2014. It is amazing. Today is lunch, hamburgers, chips, potato salad, cantaloupe, and jello peppers. Um, so yeah, where were we? I don't know. We have to have an area under the curve or between curves. <coughs> Think about it. It's really the same problem because when you have between curves, you do subtraction. You just have a new a new function that you find the area under. Uh, and then a particle motion question needs to be involved. Um, this is important. So last year I had the uh, calculus class do this, and they did a good job. And uh, We've changed some things this year. We have two groups rather than several small groups. I think that's going to be better. Um, also, a lot of what they did was to do a problem, have the answer come out to be whatever it is. Like you don't even have to think about it. And then, you know, what did I have? An example of, you know, they, they would they would say, well, that's not the answer we wanted. So figure out what you have to add and say add 430 to that. That's it's clever and all, but doesn't require you to push yourself and, and challenge yourself and bend your mind to figure out how will I take, say, this related race problem, and get the answer to come out so it's exactly what needs to go in this blank. Does that make sense? Okay. It is a bit of a challenge. So you want to give yourself enough time to get that done before so that's one thing, it needs to have exact solutions, whatever this blank needs to be, whatever these three numbers need to be, uh, your answer needs to come out to be exactly that. Uh, um, the locations that you use, basically you have to have three locations. The last one has to be an actual place. There's gotta be another actual place. And there needs to be a virtual place. Okay. A virtual place could be a website. Be, here's a virtual place right here, a Google Doc. Okay, it's a very simple thing. Just somewhere, I don't know, it could be really creative. Uh, maybe, let's put it away, you know, a website at Google Doc. They could call a phone number. I don't know if there's a phone way to set up a phone number to have a pre recorded message. That, that could be a cool thing, maybe a Google Voice number or something like that. That's possible. So, give it some thoughts. Something virtual, something that's not a physical place. <coughs> Uh, that exists out there somewhere in the ether. Other than that, there's a link right here for some helpful stuff. I think it's helpful. Just some things. Uh, this is a website about geocaching. It's probably the, the most used one. Here's a website where you can create QR codes. Something you're not required to use QR codes, but they're really neat. So uh, something to think about there. Um, Google Docs. It's not a big Surprised that Google Docs exists, but you can see everything that you're <laughs> everything you're viewing is on Google Docs, and you can put pictures in there, and you can put videos in there, and you can put embed videos in there. But anyway, uh, I mean, Google Drive allows you to have videos. You can upload a video to Google Drive, and it will just be within that Google Drive, and like it's less like YouTube, where it's a little more public, it's a little more private. You can share it with specific people or uh, people with a link. So that's really useful. If you don't have to create a website, you can just create a Google Doc and, and give them that link. Okay. So that's pretty much it. But let's I'm going to try and help you help 
yourselves, think about what kind of things do you need to do, what kind of stuff do you need to figure out, where does it fit on the timetable of how much time you have left, okay? Like what are some things that need to get accomplished? What are some actual uh, executable things that we can do? We can create problems. going to create those problems, okay? Find out where you want it to be. Okay. Uh, decide on locations. All right. Probably this should come before creating the problems. Because you need to know what numbers these problems need to come out to have solutions for. So yeah. But you know you need to know what the solutions need to be. What else? problems. That's, that's one thing I think is pretty important. You've got to maybe do this really soon. That's something you could do today. You can find what the GPS locations of uh, different places are using a Google search. You can just say uh, Google Maps, GPS, coordinates, or something like that. Click on a place on a map and it will tell you the GPS coordinates. Uh, I don't know exactly how accurate it is, but I think it worked out pretty well last year. So you want to decide on some locations, you want to keep them secret, and then when you go to create the problems to have the solutions not exactly right, pick the hardest ones to start first. <laughs> pick the hardest ones first. <coughs> Maybe. Uh, okay, so. So assign, assign group members. Is there any uh, like maximum distance we can go to put those seats? Okay. I guess just the golden rule. You know, send people as far as you want to be sent. Okay. I mean, my parents are going to Spokane tomorrow. I can send them with something over there. It can Let's, <laughs> let's keep a total distance traveled down. So maybe like between maybe Florence and Hamilton or between Florence and Missoula, like a bit in an area. It's reasonable, <laughs> so they're not buying a tank of gas to complete this thing. Um, okay, so those are things that you want to think about. Um, anything else that you can think of offhand? going to be left pretty much to yourself. I'm not going to set deadlines for you and tell you hurry up and figure this out right now. You know, some adults are close to being the adults. Final deadline? Yeah, we'll decide what the final deadline should be so that we also have enough time to complete them. But really, how, how much time do you need to complete them? Just give you a couple days to follow all these clues and whatnot. Um, well, I think of anything else you might want to add to this list, but I just want to mainly encourage you to do this thing soon, so that you can get started on this soon, and you can start on these really soon, so that you're not up against the deadline trying to create these problems that are a challenge to create. Okay. That's it. It's up to you. I just want to see how, you know, I'll type it up a little more formally, but I want the problems to be challenging to solve. I want the geocache itself to be fun, uh, creative. The more creative, the more... What it is. What what is? Oh, the final, yes. the final thing. Okay. So, can we make hints, like, with normal geocaching, they'll give you coordinates and then, like, a little hint or something like like by the dead tree or something like that, that could be getting pretty close. 
Well, yeah, you can do things like that, and you can get creative with it. Um, like, because I know if we're gonna like bury it somewhere, there right. needs to be some sort of something. I did was um, let's go back to that. So, yeah, typically you'll, you'll have something like this in your geocache. That'll be half of a GPS coordinate. Mm -hmm. And you'll say to fill in those blanks, do this, and, and those numbers will fill in that spot. Yeah. Um, I've done one before where they find these three and the three for the, for the longitude. And then you can take those three and do something with them, and maybe it creates a, you know, you can fill in the, the letters in a, in a okay. website address. And and that'll take you to like a, a clue, but only once you've found all of the, okay. and it confirms that you did it correctly, you know? And then it'll have a little clue. So yeah, that's not a bad idea. Just like I hit it somewhere and I said, okay, look by the two, the, the three trees that are all clumped yeah. together. So yeah, um, so that's a helpful, nice thing to do. If your thing is full of mistakes, or it's really, really difficult, like this takes away from the fun factor, right? So if you want to double check all your calculations, you can have me double check them, I'd be glad to do that. Um, but yeah, just make it really solid, make the, the solutions correct, uh, make the thing fun, just, just go crazy, make, just be creative and make sure it's an entertaining thing to do, all right? So any questions at all? I feel like you're ready to go, and day we come in from now on, pretty much just jump on computers or whatever and keep on working. Yeah. Let's do it. Cool.